name is Alyssa. Today we are talking about skincare and I'm going to share five simple tricks that help you naturally treat acne. So we've talked a little bit about some of my clear skin tips in the past few weeks and I've talked about it on the blog even more. But I personally have been struggling with some breakouts in the last like six months or so. So I've been changing things up in my skincare routine, I've been exploring new products, I've been talking to estheticians, and I've found a few things that I think can really help and can really benefit. And these are more once the pimples form. So these are like how you're gonna treat the acne that you might be seeing. So for example, if you have it on your forehead or if you have little spots somewhere, these are some tips or some products that you can apply that can potentially help to reduce the pimples that have already formed. If you're interested in learning more about some of my clear skin tips, so treating it like before it happens, I have a video all about that and I will link that down below and I'll also link some helpful blog posts. Of course, I'm also linking all of the products that I mention in the blog post and in this video, so make sure to check out the description box below for everything that we talk about today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so first things first, double cleansing. I feel like this is something that has kind of taken off in the last year or so, and the idea is that you wash your face twice. So for me, this is something that I have just started to incorporate into my routine, and I really do actually think it helps, especially if I have a day where I've worked out or it's like out and about in the city or I have makeup on. Double cleansing is a really good way to make sure that your skin is thoroughly clean because sometimes there is residue left over and that can cause bacteria to form on your face and it can create pimples. So I have two different like methods of double cleansing. One is to start with an oil cleanser and the oil cleanser that I'm currently using is from Primally Pure and it is their oil cleanser and it is comes in three different varieties. So there's an oily skin one, a normal skin, and a sensitive skin. I have the oily skin because I feel like I've been noticing a little bit of extra oil in my T-zone. So this basically, how you use it is you take a dropper full, you put it in between your hands, and then you rub it between your hands, and you clean your face with the oil on a dry face so you don't have your face wet. From there, you wash off the oil, and then you move on to your second cleanse. And that is something that I tend to do that is a little bit more gentle. So it might be my gentle milk cleanser that I've shared before from Ren, or it is raw honey. And that actually leads into my second tip, which is to wash your face with raw honey. So I know not everybody is going to be using honey that watches these videos because some of you are vegan and don't use honey in your diet or in your products. That's totally fine, you can skip this one, but I do personally use honey in my diet and so I wanted to include it because I think it is incredible incredibly beneficial, and there are a few reasons why. So honey, raw honey specifically, is really antimicrobial, antifungal, and antibacterial. It's also really hydrating, it's also really gentle, and it is also budget-friendly and completely natural. So the one that I have currently is Manuka honey from New Zealand. This is a special form of honey that only comes from New Zealand. It is 100% raw. You don't have to do Manuka honey. It's a little bit on the pricey side. I had some in my cabinet, so that's why I'm going through it right now. But you can actually find raw honey at most grocery stores. The benefit of using raw is that it has not been heated yet. So the honey that you see in like the little honey bears, the honey that is pasteurized, that isn't going to help your skin. The honey that you need to get is raw because it still has all of those amazing properties in it that help to fight bacteria on your skin. So the reason why it's great, again, to use as a cleanser is because we are fighting bacteria on the skin. So I actually use this in the morning, especially if I've worked out in the morning and I've sweat. So if I go to Soul Cycle or hot yoga, I will follow up with a simple honey face wash. And then I also use it as the second step in my double cleansing. So I cleanse first with the oil, which I just showed you, and then I cleanse with the raw honey. Cleansing with raw honey is so easy. All you have to do is just wet your face with a little bit of warm water, then scoop about maybe two teaspoons to up to a tablespoon of honey out of the pot or the jar, rub it gently between your hands, and then honestly you just 
cleanse your face like you would any other normal cleanser. It feels amazing. Your skin feels so clean, and I really have noticed a difference in my skin. There is an article that one of my friends has published about cleansing with honey, so if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll link it down below for you. So the third thing that I recommend, and we've talked about this before, is to use an enzyme peel or an exfoliating peel. I don't personally like to use the exfoliators anymore that like have scrubs because I think that those are a little bit harsh on the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So what I do instead is use an enzyme peel. The first one is from Naturopathica and it is their cherry enzyme peel. It's really brightening, it's really gentle, it's also really hydrating and it's an exfoliator. So enzyme peels exfoliate your skin. Basically they're removing dead skin from your top layer of skin, which is helping skin to regrow, but it's also sloughing off the dead skin, which can cause bacteria if it remains. So exfoliating at least once a week is ideal. I would not do more than twice a week with these masks. So the first one, like I mentioned, is the Bright Cherry Enzyme Peel from Naturopathica, and the second one is from Ursa Major, and it is their three minute brightening mask, and it also is an exfoliating enzyme peel, and it's really great. Both are really gentle, and I really, really like both of them, so maybe go with whichever one is better in your budget or that you like the ingredients of, so I think you can't go wrong with either one. My fourth tip is about spot treatments. So a lot of times spot treatments that you might buy like at the drugstore have some sort of chemical in them. And I'm not necessarily saying that those things are bad, but they can be a little bit toxic. So if you wanna go the completely natural route, I have two tips for you. Number one is to use tea tree oil. And tea tree oil is shown in many different areas to help treat acne and I think the reason why I haven't done a ton of research on my own but I think the reason why is because it's kind of drying so you can use it as a spot treatment and leave it on overnight and it should help dry out some of those pimples. If tea tree oil isn't working for you or it's not something that you really enjoy using on your face another option is to use a clay mask as an overnight spot treatment. So the two that I currently have, one is from, what's the brand called? Shafali, Shafal, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this thing, it's a volcanic ash mask and this works really well as an overnight spot treatment. This is a little bit pricey, um, so if you are on a budget, then you might not wanna invest in this because there is a very cheap alternative and it is, benzonite clay. So this is Aztec healing clay. It comes in a big container like this. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Thrive Market, and you can mix it with water and create your own mask or your own spot treatment. So if you're interested in checking out the clay, I've linked it down below, but I actually do have a recipe on my blog for an acne treatment mask. And basically what I do is I just mix that mask to together and then I use that as an overnight spot treatment. So I'll just put it directly on the pimples that I want to hopefully get rid of. I let it dry, I go to sleep, and then I wipe it off in the morning. Um, I would test it before you let it sit overnight. So maybe give yourself like 30 to 45 minutes with it on and see how it treats your skin. Sometimes if you have really, really sensitive skin, it might be a little bit much for you, so you won't wanna leave it on for like eight hours. But if you can handle it for like 45 minutes or an hour at a time as the spot treatment, then I think it's safe to do overnight. Just test it before you do it. Um, and what's great about this is that it's really affordable. It, a little goes a long way, so this is gonna last you a really long time. And you can mix it with the mask ingredients that I have on the site, or you could just mix it with water and use it like as a detoxifying mask or the spot treatment. And then my fifth and final thing is a tool that I just discovered and learned about from a holistic facialist here, esthetician here in the city. And one of the tools that they use on my skin that has made a huge difference is a high frequency wand. And basically it looks like this, I have it next to me. So it has this thing, it looks a little, hmm, let's not say what it looks like, but it comes with these little glass connectors. So the one that I bought, 
very affordable. I think this whole thing was $30. It comes with four different glass heads and you basically stick it in. And then basically what this does is it's killing bacteria on the skin. So it has a few different levels here. So you can do it really low. I do it very gentle on my skin. And I just basically run it along the areas where I have breakouts. So they have a few different heads. This one's great for like running over your forehead, running along your jawline. They also have like a very special little like small thing that you can use in the crevice of your nose or like for fine lines. Um, they also have one for like a comb that you can comb if you're having hair loss or anything like that. So I think that these are really great tools. I don't necessarily think that they are necessary, but I do think that they can help with if you use them like consistently. And when I do use them on my skin, I notice that my acne goes away more quickly and it also can help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. So it's also really affordable. I wouldn't share it with you if it was like $300, but it's $30 on Amazon. And I feel like it's just one of those things that if you struggle with acne and you are like trying all these different things and nothing's working, it could just be something that you might wanna give a try and see if it works for you. So those are my five basic tips. I do have two more products that I wanna share with you and two more tips that I think will help. The first is a face wipe from Ursa Major. One of the things that I really recommend if you're struggling with acne is to wash your face immediately after you work out. So if you do sweaty workouts like I do, whether it's at the gym, running, spinning, yoga, whatever it is, go into the bathroom at the studio or at home and immediately wash your face. If you don't have access to that, having little face wipes like this is really great. This is a four in one face wipe that has like astringents in it. So it's really antibacterial. Um, and just make sure that you're kind of like not going over the same place a lot with the same uh, area of the wipe, if that makes sense. So like kind of use different areas of the wipe because you don't wanna wipe all the bacteria just around your face. But these are really great and I'll link them down below for you. And then the last thing that I've been using and loving is this Everything Spray Toner from Primally Pure. This toner is amazing because it has a ton of really astringent and bacteria fighting ingredients in it. Um, ingredients like aloe vera juice, witch hazel, apple cider vinegar, as well as a few um, essential oils like tea tree. So this is really great for acne. It's a really great toner. It's also really hydrating. So it's a great kind of base layer under your other skincare things. So just another thing to think about if you're interested. So I know that this ended up having like seven tips, but I hope you found them helpful. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. As always, I've linked everything that we talked about today. I've also included a blog post to go along with this video, which kind of explains my routine in more detail, shares some more photos of like how I use the product. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely check out the links down in the description box. And this is also gonna be connected to my natural beauty playlist. So if you would like to check out more natural beauty videos, there is a playlist on my channel that has all of the stuff that I've shared already. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet part of our community. I would love to have you join our tribe here on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.